Picture this. You're trying to read War and Peace while juggling flaming torches, solving a Rubik's Cube, and reciting the alphabet backwards. That's basically what ChatGPT does with your prompts. Except instead of torches, it's juggling billions of calculations that cost more than your college tuition. Per day. But here's where it gets spicy. Scientists in Beijing just said, hold my tea, and literally copied your brain. No, seriously, they built an AI that works exactly like your neurons. And spoiler alert, it makes ChatGPT look like a gas-guzzling monster truck at a Prius convention. Let me break this down with something we all understand. Pizza. Imagine you ordered a pizza and the delivery guy insists on describing every single topping on every pizza they've ever delivered before handing you yours. That's current AI. When you give it a 500-page document, it's like forcing someone to memorize the entire Harry Potter series just to tell you what happened on page 237. Every single time. These AI models are basically that friend who leaves all the lights on in their house 24-7. OpenAI's GPT models are burning through electricity like a small city. We're talking millions of dollars in power bills. It's like using a flamethrower to light a birthday candle. Sure, it works, but your eyebrows and wallet are crying. So these mad scientists at the Beijing Institute asked the million dollar question. Why don't we just copy homework from nature? Your brain, that three pound blob of jelly between your ears, runs on about 20 watts. That's less than your desk lamp. Meanwhile, ChatGBT needs enough power to run a small neighborhood. Here's the genius part. Your neurons are basically the laziest employees ever. And that's perfect. They're like security guards who only wake up when something actually happens. You don't fire every neuron when you see a cat, just the, oh look, fluffy thing neurons. The rest are Netflix and chilling. So they created Spiking Brain. And yes, that's the actual name because apparently scientists are metal fans now. Instead of keeping all 500 pages of that document active like a paranoid student during finals week, Spiking Brain only focuses on what actually matters. It's like having a smart assistant who actually knows how to skim read instead of memorizing the phone book. They use something called adaptive threshold spiking neurons, fancy words for neurons that know when to chill. Think of it like this. Regular AI is like having every app on your phone running at maximum brightness all the time. Spiking brain, it's like your phone on smart battery mode, only using power when you actually need it. Now, here's where your jaw drops. When processing a 4 million word document, that's like 40 novels. Spiking Brain was 100 times faster than regular AI. 100 times. That's like finishing a marathon while everyone else is still tying their shoes. Remember that 97% energy reduction? That's not some marketing BS. They actually proved it. They trained a 76 billion parameter model on regular GPUs. Not those fancy NVIDIA ones that cost more than a Tesla, just normal hardware. It's like building a Ferrari engine that runs on regular unleaded. And here's the plot twist that nobody saw coming. They did all this on Chinese-made Meta X GPUs. While everyone's fighting over NVIDIA chips like they're the last PS5 on Black Friday, China just said, we'll make our own with blackjack and energy efficiency. This could literally change everything. Companies could save millions per day in electricity. AI could become 50 times cheaper to run. Your phone could run chat GPT level AI without turning into a portable heater. We're talking about AI that doesn't need its own power plant. But here's the real kicker. They achieve 69% sparsity in computations. Nice. But seriously, that means 69% of the time, the AI is doing nothing. And that's good. It's like discovering you can drive across the country using only 3% of your gas tank. So while Silicon Valley is building bigger and hungrier AI monsters, Beijing just said, what if we made it lazy, like a brain? And it worked. The question isn't if this will replace current AI, it's when. Do you think China just won the AI race while everyone was looking the other way? And if your brain is basically the ultimate lazy genius, what does that say about your productivity?